Moving on to this now, between just the two of them, there were eight medals brought back to New Mexico. Can you believe that? Amazing athletes competed in the rhythmic gymnastics competition in the Special Olympics 2015 World Games, that is. Joining us this morning, athletes Jeannie Garris, Rebecca Amador, along with Executive Director Randy Mascor Mascorella. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, for joining us this morning. I am absolutely impressed. Look at the amount of medals you guys have. Wow, unbelievable. So let's start here. Randy, tell me, you were at the games this year as well. I got to watch for five days. Five days, and what was it like? It was probably one of the most amazing things I've had the opportunity to be involved in. Mm -hmm. it, I believe it. It's the world. We're talking about 165 countries, correct? 6,500 athletes. Wow. I know, and it, and it really truly is uh, a breathtaking, site. Absolutely. So you guys were part of Team USA. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, ladies? Yes. What did you think when you got the call saying you're part of Team USA, you're going, you're going to the Olympics? It was, it was great and amazing. I believe it. And so what did you compete in? Tell me about the events. It, I competed in rhythmic gymnastics mm -hmm. and I got a go three gold. Three gold medals? I got a, got a first place medal in hoop, and I got a second place in medal in, in ball. Okay. And I got a third place medal in clubs, and I got a fourth place medal in, in a ribbon, and I got another first place in, in, a, in the overall, and I got a, got a first place medal. We're in just going to go on ball. and on. You have so many awards and so many medals that I don't know if we have enough time to talk about all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She was like, yes, I do. Rebecca, tell me about your experience. What did you compete in and what did you win? Rhythmic gymnastics. I got fourth place in ball, fourth place in hoop, a bronze in clubs. Okay. First place in ribbon, first place in a ball routine, and fifth place overall. Now, Rebecca, we were talking during the break about you guys meeting all the other athletes there. How was that? It was, it was, <laughs> it was pretty amazing. Did you enjoy it? Jeannie, did you enjoy that as well? Did you get to meet new friends? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was good and it was great. And Jeannie, how long have you been preparing for this? Um, I am not sure. For a long time though, right? Yeah. Yeah, and Rebecca, you mentioned years, seven years, you said? Seven years. Seven years you guys have been preparing for this. Wow. I'm deeply impressed by this, absolutely. So Randy, tell me, there was another mm. New Mexico athlete, right, that made the USA team. We sent a unified golf team and they won the bronze. Wow. So we came home with a lot of hardware and did New Mexico proud. Absolutely. Did absolutely. you the United States proud? You, you sure did. You did all of us proud. Um, so tell me, when you were there, you got to see the games. You mentioned that you were deeply impacted by all of this. Tell me what you just hope, you know, do you hope to have more New Mexico athletes be picked for the USA team next year? I think, I think what that, uh, what those games did, it opened people's eyes to the abilities mm -hmm. of people with intellectual disabilities. And when given the chance, how they are able to really uh, excel. So it's our hope that these games uh, and as much coverage as they got, more families, more people with intellectual disabilities will want to come and participate as well. Absolutely. I definitely see that happening. Give me details. If there is a family out there that says, you know what, I think my, my daughter or my son has the ability to do this. We're going to get more details about that or if you guys need sponsorship for this type of program. Um, we're, we can be reached at the Special Olympics office 856-0342 and we are statewide so we are everywhere and um, we welcome all athletes. You know we we make sure that every single athlete that comes to us has a quality experience mm -hmm. and a chance to know what the best of them is all about. Absolutely. Well, ladies, I want to thank you guys for joining us thank this you for morning. Us. You guys thank are going to be in the spotlight for some time. Next year, hopefully, we're going to be talking to you guys again. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. And if you want a You're recap welcome. of the interview we just had, go to our website, krqv.com. We'll be right back.